In the history of narcolepsy, one of the biggest breakthroughs was, of course, when we found that the cause of narcolepsy was a lack of this chemical in the brain called hypocretin. The next question was, why is this chemical missing in the brain of patients with narcolepsy? And for a very long time, people have suspected there is something to do with the immune system, which is killing the cells that produce hypocretin. But there haven't been really any proof, uh, direct proof. We use this very simple technique. Uh, we studied about 800 patients with narcolepsy versus about 1,000 normal people. And we compared these millions of variants uh, across the entire genome. And what we found is that there were these uh, changes in a gene called the T-cell receptor, which differentiate patients with narcolepsy and controls. And that you know, shows that this particular gene variance makes you much more susceptible to developing narcolepsy. This particular gene, the T-cell receptor, is one of the most complicated of the body. We know it is crucial for all immune responses and autoimmune disorders. And our discovery now clearly shows that narcolepsy has to be an autoimmune disease. If we can work out what happened uh, specifically uh, in patients with narcolepsy, it could really be a model for many of the autoimmune diseases. I'm sure that immunologists are going to be very excited. In fact, immunologists have been trying for a long time to show that this particular gene was involved in autoimmune diseases, but they had a lot of trouble. They have never really been able to do that. There's always more. I mean, we have to question, you know, how are we going to use this discovery to treat patients? If we can find that there is really a specific variant of this gene that is predisposing to narcolepsy, then we might be able to block it, uh, for example, with an antibody. And this way, we might be able to stop the development of narcolepsy. Narcolepsy has always been a, a relatively difficult thing to solve. So it's very challenging for a scientist to try to figure out what's happening. And, you know, as a scientist, I like challenges. <laughs> The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.